Hello, real estate agents and brokers. It is me, Elder Reyes, and I am your real estate technology coach. I am also CEO and co-founder of RE Digital, the number one real estate website and number one real estate digital marketing agency on the planet. Super stoked about today's video because it's a question that I'm getting a lot. And this video is specifically for my Keller Williams agents out there. I know you guys just had your family reunion. Um, and I know you guys have a lot of questions about the, the, the KW Command CRM website platform that they provide you guys. So what this video is all about are the pros and cons of using KW Command, right? Because I'm getting a lot of calls, a lot of texts, a lot of emails from Keller Williams agents who specifically are asking me, Elder, is it like a good idea to use the KW Command as like my CRM, as like my website? Like, what should I do with it? What are the pros and cons? What are your What's your take on it? So that's what I'll be covering today. It's going to be a pretty quick video. I'm going to get to the point. Um, and then at the end of the day, um, I'll also give you some advice on how, if I was a Keller Williams agent, how I would implement the, the KW command CRM software into my real estate digital marketing, you know, uh, kind of uh, program that I have going on. Okay. So if you're a Keller Williams agent, you're definitely going to want to stay tuned because this is going to be your KW command pros and cons. What would I do? What wouldn't I do? Um, what's good about it? What's bad about it? And then also at the very end, I'm going to tell you exactly how you should use it for your real estate business. Okay. So stay tuned. All right. Hello, real estate agents and brokers. Um, my name is Elder and I am your real estate technology coach. I am also CEO and co-founder of RE Digital, the number one real estate website and number one real estate digital marketing agency on the planet. Um, today's video, I'm super stoked about. It's specifically for my Keller Williams agents out there because I'm getting a ton of calls, a ton of emails, a ton of outreach from Keller Williams agents who I know you guys just had your family reunion in Anaheim here. Um, a couple of weeks ago and the question that i'm getting a lot is elder when it comes to to kw command like what are your pros what are your cons on it you know are you familiar with it um like how would you use it like should i use it like like if i use it as my website and crm like what's going to happen so that's what i'll be covering today just a kind of a quick rundown of like why I would you what I would do with it, what wouldn't I do with it, the the pros and cons, and then um also like just some real good advice for you guys that you know to to even though if you're not going to use like the website piece of the KW command um CRM like like what are some good ideas that I would do with it um to, to, that way you take advantage of all your marketing right so, but before I get into the video. Really quick, like I said, my company, RE Digital, um, what we specifically do is we help, you know, real estate agents and brokers with their websites um, and real estate uh, digital marketing programs. Um, I myself have been in the, in the real estate digital marketing space for over 20 years. In that time frame, I personally have worked with over 4,000 real estate agents and brokers on their websites, CRMs, social media, YouTube channel, Google business profile, basically anything and everything to do with real estate digital marketing. I've either tinkered with it or played around with it or have a client that's using it. Um, in that 20 years, I've worked and consulted at companies like Zillow and Realtor.com and Ylopo and um, Z57, um, with iHouse Web, uh, with Luxury Presence, um, what else? Uh, uh, oh, Inside Real Estate for all you EXP agents out there, right? The KV Core system, I'm very familiar with that. I also have clients that are using like Chime and Boomtown and Sierra Interactive and Commission Zinc and and the Realty Geeks and Brivity and uh, Follow Up Boss and Top Producer, iHouse Web. So at the end of the day, I've been in the space for so long. I don't know anyone who's been in the space as long as I have. So when I give you guys advice, it's not like, hey, I hope it works. It's stuff that I know it's going to work. I know it's going to move the needle for you, so to speak, as far as getting you guys in front of more people that are looking to buy, sell, or invest in real estate. Okay. So if you need help with your website, if you need help with your social media, if you need help with your YouTube channel, or if if you need help with your Google business profile, please don't be afraid to reach out to um, my phone number is 530-760-7827. Um, company website's pretty simple. Um, elder, I'm sorry, my email is elder at redigitalco.com, elder at redigitalco.com, and the company website is redigitalco.com, redigitalco.com. Okay, but enough about that. 
So um, what I wanted to do this video about is because, like I said, I'm getting a lot of questions from, you know, Keller Williams agents. I know you guys just had your family reunion. Um, I was not there, but the feedback I'm getting is um, Gary Keller and his team kind of admitted that, hey, when KW Command first launched, it had a lot of had a lot of issues with it, right? It was a little bit clunky, um, wasn't that easy to use. And so, like I always tell my Keller Williams agents and brokers is, you know, at the end of the day, when it comes to software, when it's first launched, it always has issues, right? I mean, even look at these big, huge technology companies like Google and Microsoft and Apple, and whenever they release a software or an update or or a new product, there's always issues, there's always recalls, there's always patches or so forth that need to um, that need to need to be fixed, right? So when KW Command came out, don't beat your your company up too much because. I already knew it was going to have issues. If you guys have watched any of my videos from way back in the day, a couple of years ago, when KW Command came out, I told everybody, do not use that as your main CRM because I haven't even looked at it yet, but I know it's going to be clunky. I know it's going to have errors. I know it's going to need some patches or some fixes because it's a brand new technology, and that's how they all are. When technology first comes out, they release it. They try to use it or implement it, and then there's always issues that come up, right? So I already knew that KW Command was gonna was that was gonna come out like that. But let's fast forward now to March of 2023, which is where we are now. Like I said, I know you guys just had your family reunion, and so I'm getting a lot of calls from Keller Williams agents asking me about KW Command. And here is my here is here's the pros and cons of KW Command, right? From a CRM perspective, yes, it allows you to do anything that most of these CRMs allow you to do, right? You can create your groups, you can do your emails, you can do your implement the texting feature, you can follow up with leads. I mean, it has the the uh, you know the the new listing alerts, pretty much all the the stuff that a lot of these CRMs have. Yes, is the AI a little bit kind of is the AI a little bit like, um, is, is the AI as is, is good as like a Chime or Sierra Interactive or some of these other platforms? Absolutely not. I think the, I think the AI in the back end of some of those platforms is a little bit more robust, a little bit next level in terms of how smart it is. But at the end of the day, I mean, if I was a Keller Williams agent and you gave me the KW Command CRM, would I implement it? Absolutely. But here's the way I would do it, guys, because... The, the, the good news about the KW command is I've actually been tinkering it with and I have a, quite a few Keller Williams agents that I work with who have the KW command CRM and I've and you're able to do some stuff with it. At the end of the day, you're able to do what you need to do. You can load your leads up in there. You can put them on drip marketing. You can follow up with them. You have everything that you need for a good CRM to nurture that lead, right? To take that name, that email and phone number and kind of just push it across, push it across until they're ready to, to talk to you about helping them buy, sell, or invest in real estate, right? So that's okay. So the CRM part is good to go. Um, now, if you wanted to go out there and get a Chime or a Sierra Interactive, are those better technologies in my opinion? Absolutely. But are they way better? I don't know. I mean, like I said, I, I recently had a really good consultation with the Keller Williams agent and he was like, well, Elder, what would you do? And this is what I tell folks the way I would implement the, the, the KW command. I would use it as my CRM, but unfortunately, the website piece itself is not going to get you the results that you want. And let me explain why. Those websites that you're getting from Keller Williams are sub-sites or they're glorified sub-pages, right? What do I mean by that? When it comes to those Keller Williams KW command websites that they give you, I don't even like calling them a website. They're sub-pages, right? They're, they're sub-sites. You have the kw.com root domain, which is a huge domain, which gets tons of traffic, and then they give you these sub-sites. These KW command websites that they're giving all you guys are subsites. What does that mean for you? It means that those little websites, when Google goes and crawls them, yes, you may have different photos. Yes, you may even have your listings on there. Yes, you may even have some content that you put on there on the face of the site. But in the back end, in the coding of the actual website, the coding is the same across the board for all 30,000 Keller Williams agents, right? So just think about it just realistically. If you're Google and when you crawl a site, you look at content and you look at coding and the coding on those websites is the same for 30,000 websites, do you think it's going to put those KW command websites on the first page of Google? Absolutely not. 
Guys, you will never, ever see a KW Command website on the first page of Google. It's not going to happen. You'll never see it on the first page of Google. All they are is glorified landing pages, glorified subsites. But So that's the bad part about them, right? The good part is, yes, the CRM allows you to do everything that you need to do from a CRM standpoint. You can send emails. You can implement your list in there. You can put them on you know, specific email blasts and stuff on that. You can group them. All that stuff is there, right? So if I was a Keller Williams agent, and this is specifically what I told my client the other day, that he was really adamant about implementing the KW command into his digital marketing you know, world here. I told him the way I would do it is I would have a company like ourselves here at RE Digital build you a custom site. And then what we could do is we could use the CRM that KW Command gives you as your CRM, right? I mean, if they're giving you the CRM, we can still definitely do it. We can go ahead and push all the data as far as leads into the KW Command software. There's no issue with that. It's pretty easy. There's tons of tools out there now to help you with that. So the way you guys need to do it if you're a Keller Williams agent, right, is that you use a CRM piece, but for the website piece, that cannot be your main site, right? And and I'm saying that because a lot of Keller Williams agents are reaching out to me and they're like, Elder, I'm trying to get my website on the, you know, the first couple pages of Google. I'm trying to generate some leads from the search engines. Make no mistake about it that if you use the KW command front, you know, the website piece, you're not going to be on the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, probably even the first seven to 10 pages of Google, right? It's just not going to happen because those subsites never, never get ranked very well by the search engines, right? So, if you're a Keller Williams agent, what you want to do is you want to use the CRM piece, right? Get that all set up. You want to have a company like someone like RE Digital, hopefully you would pick us, to go ahead and build you a custom site. That way, the site that we build you has the ability to actually get found on the first page of Google. That site that we build you actually has the ability to get ranked by the search engines, right? That that that, that website that we build you, it would be what they call an SEO-friendly site. You can actually generate quality traffic, quality leads, and then we would push those into your KW Command CRM, right? That's the way I would do it. Now, a little nugget for some of you Keller Williams agents out there, the way I would do it is because even though you're going to use the CRM and the website that they give you is not very good, one of the things that I would do is because keep in mind that KW command website that they're giving you is attached to that KW.com you know, domain. That's huge, right? KW.com is a huge, powerful real estate platform. So because that KW command website that they give you is attached to it, what I would do if I was you guys. So let's just say, for example, I was a real estate agent and the three markets that I covered were like Huntington Beach, Newport, and I'm just going to use Costa Mesa, right? So I would have a company like us go ahead and build you a website that covered, you know, Newport, Huntington Beach, and Costa Mesa, right? And then I would put all the content, videos, and everything that you're supposed to do on that site. With that KW Command website, what I would do, I would take that website that they've given you or subsite, and I would just focus it on one market. So for example, let's just say I took that KW command website and just focused it on Costa Mesa. I would go to GoDaddy and buy like a hyperlocal domain name, something like Costa Mesa Home Surge, Costa Mesa Property Finder, Costa Mesa Real Estate Watch, something like that. I would buy that domain name and then I would point it to that KW command website that they give you. And then I would take that domain name and link it to the custom site that we build you because even though that website by itself is not going to get you the amount of traffic, the amount of leads that you're going to want for your business, we can definitely use it because you are a part of Keller Williams. It is a, you know, one of the biggest brokerages in real estate and the website that it's attached to can definitely help you, right? So once again, I'm just going to play it back for you because I know sometimes when I explain this, it gets a little bit confusing. You can still definitely use the KW Command CRM, but you want to couple it with a custom website because the KW Command website, for lack of better words, sucks. It's never going to be on the first page of Google. It's not going to get you any leads. It's not going to get you any ranking. You'll never, ever see it probably on – it's just it's – just, there's subsites, right? There's just – 
Yeah, all these brokerages out there do it, guys. So if you if you're a Keller Williams agent and you're watching this and you're like, man, well, I'm just gonna switch brokerages. No, every brokerage out there gives their agent subsites. No one gets an actual custom site. I haven't seen it, and I've been in this space for 20 years. I don't know one real estate brokerage out there that gives their real estate agents custom websites, right? Which is why all these subsites that you guys get suck and you guys don't get any leads any traffic right and why 95 percent of you guys are unhappy with your marketing i mean it's pretty straightforward right and so that includes kw command so that that website that they give you you don't want to just not use it so you're going to have your, your, your kw command crm you're going to use that as your crm piece that's fine and then you're going to couple it with a custom website that you have someone build hopefully you pick us at re digital and then what you can do with the kw command actual website piece that they give you you're going to use that get a hyper local domain name make that like a very hyper local specific website to see if it can help you with your seo on the on, on the custom site that, that you would have another company build for you that's the plan of action, guys. That's what you want to do. I know a lot of times when I explain this to Keller Williams agents, they get super upset. They're like, well, they told us that this could be our main side. And they told us that, you know, if we added pictures and photos and, and content, it would be on the first page of Google. And I always tell folks, the proof's in the pudding. And I promise you, if you go to your market and do a search for homes for sale in city state, you will not see a KW command website on probably the first five to seven pages of Google. I, I look all day on the search engines. Unfortunately, those websites are just from an SEO perspective, right? So search engine optimization perspective, they're just horribly built in the back end with the coding because it's the same coding across all 30,000 platforms, right? So I hope this video kind of shed some light on the KW command, like I, like I, in kind of in summary, use the CRM, but buy a custom site, but then use the website piece for like a hyper local niche market or maybe a specific territory. Couple all those things together or bring all those pieces together, and you should have some success there as well. So, um, I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions about the KW command or kind of what I went over as far as how you should implement all of this, please do not be afraid to reach out to redigitalco.com, um, redigitalco.com, or you can call me directly anytime, 530-760-7827, 530-760-7827, or you could send me an email directly, elder at redigitalco.com, elder at redigitalco.com, okay? So um, thank you so much for watching the video. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them. Please subscribe to my channel. Um, if there are topics or anything you want me to cover with my content here, definitely ask a question or you can text or email me or call me and I can definitely do a video for you guys. But once again, thank you so much for your support and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.